Welcome back. So now we're going to talk about observation techniques under design thinking. So this is what you're actually doing, you know, incorporating some of these ideas. So you've done your focus group, you know, with ideation and some of that stuff. But this is how you actually go out and observe. Now let's say you have a coffee shop. There's two ways you can do this. You could A, observe your own coffee shop assuming it's up and running, or B, you could go to rival coffee shops if you haven't opened your coffee shop, or quite frankly go to rival coffee shops even if you have. And these are the things. You take a notebook and you start making observations. Okay? We say observation techniques, A-E-I-O-U. There is no Y because this is an entrepreneurship lecture, not an English class. So first off, you focus on activities. You go to your coffee shop like, and you start asking, what are people actually doing in the coffee shop? Now stereotypically, you're going to think, oh, well, they're drinking coffee. Well, there's a lot of things going on in a coffee shop, right? So, okay, are they drinking coffee? Are they eating pastries? Are they eating lunch food? Are they using the coffee shop as an extended office? Are they using the coffee shop as a place to study? Is this like a place that you go meet dates? Like, what is the coffee shop actually being used for? Okay. In LA, it was quite interesting. A lot of restaurants came to the conclusion that people wanted just somewhere to work, right? And so they wound up making specials where you could rent a booth during the off hours. So like from like two to five, you could just rent a booth at a restaurant. They, they provided better Wi-Fi. And that was a service they charged for. And of course, once the restaurant opened back up at five, then people tended to stay for happy hour anyhow. So they're making even more money on more people in happy hour and then they were able to, to, to lease the booths. That's an example of activities. Environments. Okay, like the stuff in the place, does it facilitate what they're doing? So, if, you know, you, you conclude that people in the coffee shop are going there for dates. What, what about your particular coffee shop makes it a great environment for dating? Is it like romantic music, comfy, quiet, you know, chairs, like maybe a dark space in the corner? Like, what is it? Right? Or maybe it's like people are studying, you know, or they're, or they're doing work, right? Well, what is it about your place that facilitates that? Is it, um, the fact that the chairs are really comfortable so people work better? Is it the fact that there's no music and therefore it's better for job interviews? Like, what is it? And more importantly, what kinds of customers do you think you're missing out on because you don't provide certain, you know, elements of an environment or an ambiance? The interactions. How do people interact with other people there? Again, are they there to, you know, just drink their coffee and get out? Right? Not interact with anybody? Is it, um, and the interactions, I remember going to Naples to a coffee shop one time, and it was crazy. Like, people were pushing and swearing and yelling, you know, just to get, like, that itty-bitty little thing of espresso and pour, like, this scalding hot liquid down their gullets before they went back to work. You know, that's one kind of interaction. Okay, do you want that kind of interaction, or do you want, you know, again, are people there dating? Are they chatting with the barista, right? So that Starbucks that I mentioned in my previous video, one of the things I like going, about going there is I know the manager, she greets me by name, you know, hi, how are you doing, you know, and, you know, they, they know my name, they know my order. It makes me feel kind of like at home. That's an interaction, right? Um, again, using the L.A. example, like you have the coffee shops that are really basic, you know, you just get that coffee down your gullet and you get out. They've got the ones where you can, you know, sit and, you know, interact a little bit, the ones that you can sit there and study, or there's ones where, you know, the, the, bar, the barista has a ponytail and you can talk about politics with them, right? What are these interactions going on? Right? A lot of people want to go to a coffee shop just so they can have like an extended living room. And that's okay. That's something that you need to write down. Objects. You're like, what are the objects like? Do people fuss because you've got wobbly tables? Do they like the fact that they can stretch out? Do, do you see people stretching out and putting their feet in a chair because they need to stretch out and therefore that chair is taken? Okay. What if you provided like an ottoman or a footrest for people too? Right? What are the interactions going on? And who are your users? Basically, who are your customers? So maybe you get a place and it's packed with young people, and that's great. Maybe that's all the business you can handle, but maybe you want an older demographic. Or maybe you've got older people in your coffee shop, but instead you'd like to have younger students, right? Maybe you want to cater to certain people at certain times of the day and not at others, right? So that's what we look at users. Who are your customers and observe them, okay? This is all observation. That doesn't mean, though, that you can't actually ask people about the stuff, too. We normally think of observing as, as looking away. But again, think of design thing as, as almost ethnographic in nature. So you see people doing something, and then you ask, well, hey, exactly what are you doing here? Like, what is it that you like about this place? What, what do you like to do here the most? So you can observe and you can ask. And we'll talk more about the interviewing techniques in the next video. As always, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Hit that like button. That's a thumbs up. 
definitely hit the subscribe button and comment down below. I'll see you in the next video.